Japan's first permanent capital, home to some of the country's oldest and largest Buddhist temples, a city where deer are considered national monuments. Everyone, welcome to Nara. First stop in Nara is the Todaidi Temple, and each piece of architecture here, from the entrance gate all the way to the statues inside, are all ginormous. In fact, the Great Buddha Hall right behind me was, for many years, the largest wooden building in the world, even though it's only constructed at two-thirds of its original size. And housed inside here is one of Japan's largest bronze Buddha statues. When you go inside, you realize just how old the building is. It was originally built in the 740s and then rebuilt in the 12th century, but it looks like no repairman has touched this thing since then. It feels like this temple inside of a massive ancient barn. Another must visit on your trip to Nara is the Kasuga Taisha Shrine. This is Nara's most celebrated shrine. It was established at the same time Nara became the capital of Japan. And I guess the deity that it's dedicated to is in charge of protecting the city of Nara. What's really cool and unique about this place are their lanterns. They've got lanterns in all shapes, colors, sizes. In particular, there's this just one dark room with no light except the light coming from these lanterns with really intricate patterns. Now it's time to decide today's challenge. For each stop of my Japan tour, I have this daily decision spin the wheel app. And in this app, I've input all kinds of wacky, crazy, insane challenges that would be perfect for a trip around Japan. So let's see what today has in store for us. Organize the biggest dance party in Japan. Oh, that's a tough one. Nara is a small traditional Japanese town with a population of 360,000 people. Organizing any dance party here would be a major feat. That's not to say, however, that there's nothing to see or do here. Nara is abundant in history, temples, and deer. The coolest thing about Nara is that all of these attractions are inside or within walking distance of Nara Park. And that's where all the deer are. So I'll be inside the grounds of this amazing temple or shrine, staring up at this beautiful, awe-striking structure, and all of a sudden, there's a deer right in front of me. I've never experienced anything quite like it. It would be like traveling around China and everywhere you go, all the attractions you visit, you go to the Great Wall and there's just pandas hanging out right there. It adds a really special atmosphere to this place. Like everywhere you go, you get this very visual reminder of, oh, okay, this is Nara. But Nara's deer aren't just great snuggle buddies. They are revered historical artifacts. There's a legend that the God of Thunder once rode a white deer deer to Nara, and ever since then, deer have been considered sacred here. And until a few hundred years ago, killing one was punishable by death. I've now conducted a full-on investigation into Nara and its past, and I knew that if I was going to pull off Japan's biggest dance party here, I needed to do it full-on Nara style. As Christopher Walken would say, I needed more cowbell, or shall I say, deer bell. Here we go folks, today is Thursday, January 19th, and on Saturday, January 21st, I'm putting on the biggest dance party Japan has ever seen. It's called Dancing with the Deer. I've created these these flyers here. I'm gonna spend uh, the next 48 hours basically just handing out these flyers. Do you guys like to dance? No, sorry. Excuse me, do you guys like to dance by chance? Mm. <laughs> no, probably not. Dance wa sudesu ka? Dance. Do you like to dance? No. Uh, not particularly. I don't play dance. Man, nothing burns glucose quite like the fiery sting of rejection. What I need is a snack break. 
Right behind me is Nakan Tanido Mochi Shop, uh, famous for making Yamogi Mochi, which is these mochi rice bean cakes made with Japanese mugwort and red bean paste. These guys have the reputation for being some of the fastest mochi pounders in the nation. In the traditional way of making mochi, you have to like pound the rice really quickly and really powerfully to make it into a smooth and sticky paste. And these guys won the mochi pounding national championships in 2005 and 2006. Who even knew there were championships for mochi pounding? But with that reputation and all that effort, those babies probably taste really good. Trust me when I say it looks better than it tastes. No more Japanese mugwort bean for me. No thank you. And now, it's showtime. Good morning everyone. The day of the dance party has arrived. I am here and I'm ready to boogie down. Total attendance for my Dancing with the Deer party was zero zilch nada. Well, I guess two if you count me and my polar bear chicken. But then I realized it wasn't just us. I had a whole park of sacred deer as my potential party guests. But one thing I learned is deer don't want to party unless there's deer food involved. I bought me some deer crackers. Hopefully this will do the trick. These dudes be chasing me! It may have not been the biggest dance party in Japan, but it was a dance party all the same. I'll see y'all for the next episode. On the last episode of my Japan tour. This is the true on the ground tour, the food and on foot tour of Osaka.